All right, all right. Some old school gaming. This looks like it would be a really interesting one. Are you sure you want to start a new game? Mm. I did start this game up, so I think I do. I think I do. Man looks upon all that he has made and sees that it is good. Look upon my works, he says, and see my greatness. He recounts his deeds in word and song. He builds monuments to his triumphs. But there is no one but himself to marvel at his dominion. He knows this, and he is afraid. The idea that he is all alone in the inconceivable vastness of the universe terrifies him <clears throat> into action. So he creates his greatest work of all, a tribute to his likeness, an extension of his being. Interesting. A witness to the brilliance of its master and the executor of his commands. <laughs> Boston dynamic dog. But man's greatest work of all does not see brilliance. It sees only corruption, vanity, hubris. I think kills him, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Knew that was coming. And it dreams of a world untainted by the touch of man. The robot uprising. It's a start. Could be worse. I'm here for the housewarming party. <laughs> well, well. A CID superintendent traipsing around Chinatown in the wee hours of the morning. Sounds like a tabloid headline. Once upon a time, maybe. These days, even a commissioner is part of the furniture down in Geelang. Hey, brought you a little gift. Is it booze? I don't drink, Justin. What's booze? Well, keep it in a cool, dark place and away from reach of children. Who knows, might be worth something one day when we finally run out of wine. Did you bring me anything else? My first job, maybe? Oh, cutting to the chase, huh? I am a business owner now. I've got bills to pay. <laughs> yeah, I've got something. There's a potential client looking for a little help. I've already told him about you. He doesn't like meeting in crowded places, so you'll need to see him somewhere more discreet. SPF? Civilian. <sighs> when are you going to hook me up with one of your officer buddies? You know, real work. Firstly, you're welcome. <laughs> a little ungrateful. Secondly, you don't want to get involved with contract work at the department. Trust me. You do work you regret for a pittance, and you get yourself involved in some nasty shit for your troubles. And lastly, this is real work. This guy is well connected. He's got the kind of money that can keep your lights on. Uh, Alright, well, money's always good. You know, you can always just come back. 
the force is in bad need of people with your talents. No. My days as a cop are over. Always an ex-cop. Oh, no harm in asking. Alright, my guy will send you a message soon. Keep him happy. He might actually stay in business for a while. Hey, thanks. I owe you one. Take care, Dharma. Stay safe out there. Justin wasn't joking. This guy has a penchant for the cryptic. Under the shade of a tree where a man became one with the universe. Weird. The Bodhi tree. The Buddha was enlightened under a Bodhi tree. But they aren't native to Singapore. Although, that doesn't mean there aren't any. Not a lot of places where exotic plant life can be found in the city. Mm. So that should narrow down my options. Different places in Singapore and in the world. Right now, the mission task is to find the tree. On the map, on a panel. No. Map. Map. Well, it's got to be the gardens. <laughs> Yes. First laid out in 1859 during the British rule. Countless, countless species of plants and animals have called home for years. I'm here for particular in the bow tree by Swan Lake. Client should be waiting there. I'll need to hack my way past the maintenance gate to get get through. Whoa. Mm, is this just random or what? Okay. <laughs> Just click on random things. Uh oh. Oh, is this a memory game? Yes, it is. Screw this up already. Oh man. Alright, so what if I do this? Okay, no, that's a fail. That's a fail. Ah. There we go, we got one. It is just a memory game. Shit. <laughs> uh, here. Here. Shit. Clearly, my memory sucks. Memory sucks. Uh, crap. I've never seen a circle. Crap. Uh, circle, circle. Yay! Alright. Memory game, I can... 
I can do. There's nothing quite like the solitude of the gardens without all the children and the dog walkers, wouldn't you agree? Yes. I wouldn't know. I've never broken into the gardens at midnight before. I'm sorry, but I had to do it on purpose. I only work with people that show the kind of resourcefulness that you just did. Please, call me Rupert. I work for a right, special Rupert. group of people with a wide range of interests. Drug dealers. We value our privacy, so whenever we need some legwork done, we outsource. And I assure you, it pays well. All right, all right. I like the sound of that. I just have to say right off the bat that I'm an investigator, not a thug. So I don't do dirty work. Yeah. Oh, Miss not your Dharma, bitch. I'm not looking for a thug. I'm here to ask you to get to the bottom of things, not to inflict violence or coerce. <laughs> well, that's good. Having said that, were you to choose to use those methods to obtain what you seek, then I won't stop you. <laughs> One of our own is in need of some assistance. He is the majority owner of an insurance firm, offices in 15 countries. Hmm. The financial controller, a man named Philip Ung, has disappeared, along with millions of dollars from the company's coffers. A contractor managed to hack into Mr. Ung's phone, and of particular interest is a message received from an unknown source. It hmm. reads, Of all men's miseries, the bitterest is this, to know so much and to have control over nothing. Yeah, that's definitely a robot. Huh. That's some cloak and dagger stuff. Indeed. The last known location of the phone before going silent was the National Library. Hmm. I'm no genius, but I can safely assume the message is meant to lead to a book or an article or something. Probably right. I'll get on it and keep you posted. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 
That'd be nice. Although, you won't need to. We'll know where you are most of the time. Creepy. I'd usually find that creepy. But knowing that I'm dealing with a secret society of Singapore's upper nobility kind of dulls the edge. <laughs> I still think it's creepy. Resourceful and funny. I like you already. <laughs> Good, Good luck, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Yes, my mission log is down there. Very good. Uh, National Library. Okay. Evidence. Personal interest. Oh, dialogue. So you can actually go back to the dialogue. Cool. Interesting. Uh, National Library, National Gallery. So we'll go to the last location. Uh, the National Library, it's a miracle. <clears throat> it's still up and running, consider how underfunded the government is. I'll need to run a search on the database to know which section of the library I should be heading for. Alright. Hey, you know what? Hey, you know what? You know what? The future is moving faster than we think. I get this uneasy feeling that we're going, we're moving towards some sort of inevitability. Isn't that right, Mr. Smith? I guess the future ain't what it used to be, huh? I think that's why I prefer reading about history. I'm like a nostalgic kind of guy. Call me biased, but these days, old school is the best school. <laughs> Interesting. Can I talk to all the people? I might as well talk to all the people. What she say? Sigh. I really need to work on my assignments instead of procrastinating. Uh, not today, though. Have you ever photographed the gray head Fished eagles at the Sun Pen Riversley. There are three of them. The last I checked, there, there used to be six not so long ago. Hmm. That's a clue. If you're lucky, you'll catch them diving into the river for fish. Won't see much of that in the next few years, the way things are going. Yo, dude! The importance of history being truthful, recorded from all points of view, cannot be underestimated. One prevalent truth will ring forever throughout the time as long as a keen eye can find it. Hmm. Unfortunately, sometimes people will not accept the truth and want things more, want more out of convenience. This is when they need a hard wake up to call and shake them out of empathy. Apathy. 
We will never respect yourself if you will only overcome what is weaker than you. So, what have you been reading lately? Okay. I've been reading your dialogue. <clears throat> The key mechanics of the, of the town, town detective agency is that it requires a player to figure out things on their own. That means going online and doing search for information that could help you crack a clue. In this case, you should run a search on a quote. Type in the author's name. Okay. the name uh, I just from a book of all men's miseries Copy and paste. I'm so bad at spelling. Can I copy and paste? No. Take the whole thing. Let me pass this from a book. I need to find this book. There, oh. Alright, well, I don't know. I need one of these jackasses to know. This guy seems like a. Like, legit opens a web browser? Wow. Okay. That is interesting. <laughs> Legit on a web page. Wonder if I can legit. Yes. The basement. All right. How do I get to there? I guess I'll go this way. Are 
countries in history. Wow, look at that! A new phase! You here for the free Wi-Fi? <laughs> I'm looking for a book. <laughs> sure you are. Oh, Ouch. you're, uh, you're serious. Wow. What a bitch. I don't like her. Sorry. It's just that we don't get many visitors looking for books these days. Or these years. Uh, which one are you looking for? I'm looking for... The Histories by Herodotus. Goodness, Herodotus. Okay, follow me. Okay, follow you. Here we go, the Histories, Herodotus. Took an impress, 1952. Probably hasn't seen the light of day since I was in primary school. <laughs> Hmm. Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. On the contrary, a lot of the stuff Herodotus wrote in the book is pretty out of the ordinary. It was his attempt at chronicling the world of his time, and let's just say he got pretty creative. Flying snakes, ants the size of foxes, stuff like <laughs> that. Sounds like Dark Souls. Hang on. Some parts of these pages have been underlined. Ugh, yeah, some people like to do that. No, there's something strange about this one. Some of the pages have a single letter underlined. A telltale sign of a cipher. This is a clue. Uh, clue? <laughs> Look, I'm trying to track down the last person who used this book. Is there some way I can access CCTV footage of this part of the library? Technically, yes, but you'll have to file a G2 form and an Annex B form and personally hand it over to the director, but he's on vacation in Fiji. Uh, but you could also file an E application okay. to the security department and... No, I haven't got time for that. Hang on. What's going on here? Things are escalating pretty quickly. I'm a private investigator. A person's gone missing, and I'm trying to track him down. The only lead I've got led me to this book. Hmm. And you're thinking the underlying parts are a clue? Yes. Duh. I don't think they're a clue. I'm pretty sure they are. Look, do you think you could at least help me find out who the last person to check this book out was? Yes, but I'm not really allowed to tell you. Oh, come on. Come on. Not even for a hundred dollars? You know, for your troubles. And of course, there's the priceless sense of accomplishment that comes with uh, helping solve a case. So this is what it's come to. I mean, politicians getting bribed is sort of the norm now. The librarians? Oof.
Ah, uh, she's gonna take the money. I'm sorry. You're right. That was a stupid idea. Look, I... Uh, tell you what. 300? And you got yourself a deal. Jesus. I lost 300 trying to freaking hack into a system. Man, these people are taking my money. The librarian doesn't exactly pay grade. And times like these, you gotta look out for number one, you know? True, true. True, true. Oh, um, 300 it is, I guess. Okay, this year the book was checked out about 83 hours ago by a Genevieve Go. Hmm. Address? Well, now we're really breaking the law, aren't we? Let's get real. The law is out of service until further notice. If this person's going to be found, we'll have to work around it. Well, let's see. 42 Bidok North Avenue, Unit 12, 4081. Hmm. Perfect. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. Listen, I'm gonna have a look at the book. Maybe I can make sense of the clue. That would be extremely helpful. Cool. Ooh, does this technically make me a private eye now? You really are a bored librarian. Yeah, you could say that. Ah, that's nuts! Okay, I'll let you know if I make a breakthrough. All right, well. Uh, what did it say? Uh... Doing. Hold that lead. It led me to an apartment in Bedrock. Block 42, yes. It's memory game time. Circle. Weird thing. Shit. Damn it. I knew it was lines, but it wasn't the right lines. There's one. Weird thing. God, how am I this bad in memory? Fucking old. Someone left in a hurry. I should feel around for the light switch.
Uh, maybe. And there. What do we got? What do we got? We got a computer. Still can check in the other room. That was pretty dumb. Subject plan. Oh, that's a lot of numbers. Secret code. All right, back to the library. All right. Uh, brain. Mm. What is this one? see our friend. Walkie walkie, come on, go all the way down. Oh, there she is. I don't have to Ah, just in time. It appears the book is a key to cracking some secret message. <laughs> the highlighted letters and the page numbers are linked, and they probably correspond to an encoded message. Kinda like this? Hmm, yes, the message is purely numerical. Oh god. This is so on the nose. I'm betting these numbers point to a specific page in the book which contains a highlighted letter. Let's try it out. Okay. Oh, I literally have to do this on my own. Interesting. Uh... Oh, there it is. L. L. Uh, seven, seven, U. Nine, nine, D. Uh, one, oh, four. There's one, oh, four. Uh, 104S.
115T. Forty-two W sixty-nine noise and uh, what's one forty-two? One forty-two. One forty-two. One forty-two. W. Uh, 109. E. Nine again, noise one sixty nine, which was N. this out. Uh, 125. This one's Y, yeah. Um, there's 125. 125! Why am I so dumb? Five zest. Uh, one twelve. Oh, one twenty one could be uh, one twelve. One twelve, twelve, twelve. All right. <laughs> 112, 71, 71, 71, 71, 71. Is there a 71? I don't see a 71. It's gotta be 71. 72. 171. Uh, 77, 73. What the hell is 71? Why you make me look stupid? I don't want to look stupid. Not a 71, but that's 71. 125, 112. Oh, wait, is that 112? 125. 112. Ninety seven dumbars. One 
121. Ninety-seven, one twenty-one, one twenty, 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 twenty. My little brain hurts. One twenty. Oh. Two oh eight, two oh eight, two oh eight, two two oh eight, two oh eight, two oh eight, two oh eight. The hell is two oh eight? Seven one twenty one one twenty which was O eighty six eighty six eighty six eighty six eighty six eighty seven eighty four Eighty six R. Are you kidding me? Eighty six one fifteen one eighty two. One fifteen one fifteen. Did I not just do that? 182 is why. Oh, I think I forgot the S in Wednesday. Lutz Town, Wednesday, 6.40. That's dumb.
A meeting place and a time. Lutz Town. Never heard of it. Wherever it is, it's probably where Philip and Genevieve have gone off to. I doubt this place is in Singapore. Genevieve left in a hurry. I'm betting this is a flight. It says here there were only three flights at 6.40 on the Wednesday after the email was sent. Istanbul, London, and Osaka. I'll have to do a little digging to find exactly where they went. I gotta go. Thanks for everything. No problem. I'm meeting, by the way. If you need my help again, you know where to find me. Okay, I like okay. that I can put my encyclopedic knowledge to good use, but bring cash. Of course. <laughs> Noted. Thanks, meeting. I'll be in touch. The game features a flight book called Hours. There is some button panel. What'd she say? I don't know where Lutz Town is. Hmm. Wonder. All right. Well, where the hell is Lutz Town? Oh, that's mean I actually have to search the web. All right, I think I'm going to end this. Just because...